101.3 TBS EFM Prime Time. We've got Jessica Lee here in the studio once again. Jessica, good evening. Good evening, Henry. Well, you're doing a great job so far in your debut <laughs> week of this segment. Uh, we're going to talk about the summer, uh, the heat. A little bit of a relief right now. It's been uh, raining. But uh, you actually have some tips for people who want to actually cool off uh, with a place that's actually right here in the city, right? Definitely. Well, the first place that I would like to recommend is a North Village Ice Gallery. It's a, a really, really great place to get away from the summer heat. As you go inside, you have to wear the winter jacket that you can actually um, rent from the entrance. The gallery is keeping its temperature under minus 5 Celsius and displaying ice, ice sculptures of Korean traditional stone pagodas and the status of liberty and leaning tower of peace sound display. Uh, the gallery also offers visitors the opportunity to try out their ice sculpting skills firsthand, such as ice sculpt making tutorials. So you can actually participate in it with a little of little of um, fee, little more fee. Sounds fun. Uh, where is this exactly located? It is located in the Hwadong across from the Cheongdok Library, and it's open Tuesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Well, the admission fee is 5,000 won, and additional 5,000 won for those who wish to participate in this um, ice making tutorial stuff. Yeah, that's reasonably priced. Uh, you said there's another location you wanted to point out for us? Yes. You can find another frozen gallery around Hongdae neighborhoods uh, called Ice Museum. Everything inside is made with ice, including ice TV, ice fridge, ice piano. <laughs> uh, there's an ice slide and ice igloo where people, well, kids especially, can stay inside and feel the vibe of cold winter. Give us the uh, information of this, this place, please. Sure. The admission at the Ice Museum is a little bit higher than the previous place. It's 15,000 won for adults and 12,000 won for minors. It opens from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. throughout the whole year. Okay. Now, let's turn to places that people might feel, oh, okay, these ice things are cool, but they're all man-made. We don't like this artificial stuff. Are there uh, natural places that uh, you can uh, go to to escape the heat? Yeah, sure. Um, we should try Kahak Mine Cave um, to explore the cave. Um, it's actually, it's you can actually go there with a thirty minutes drive. It's a little bit away from the center of the Seoul, but mm -hmm. it's it's worth to try. You can actually not only not only you can explore the cave, you can watch the three D movie inside, and you can see the various exhibition. Especially in the summer, we can enjoy the cool air in there. And actually, one of my friends visited there, and she told oh, yeah. me that she brought a sweater. And that's how chilly it was inside. Wow. Well, the mine cave was used as a mine to dig gold, silver, copper, and zinc from 1912 to 1972. And in 2011, this cave was newly opened to explore the historical mine and uh, open for the people to listen to music and watch movie and see exhibition. Um, yeah, and I think it's a pretty fun place. It to sounds try. pretty fun. Uh, apparently, there's a really exciting festival. Planned? Yes, from July 28th, the Cave Summer Festival will be held with the new lightning performance and pop opera concert, which I already checked the website. Mm -hmm. It sounds really, it's really oh, exciting. Yeah? It's a free of admission. That's the really good mm. thing. And open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. located in Gwangmyeong area. You can call 1688 and 3399 for more details. Let's turn to our uh, second bit of news here, a bit unfortunate, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, the city is now saying, uh, really a big warning here, you will pay a heavy fine if you're one of these passengers on the subway who tamper with the emergency switches. Yes. Well, the Seoul city government announced that it will prosecute and deal heavy fine against those uh, passengers who play with these emergency switches. When the switch is activated in case of fire, what happens is it automatically shut down the subway train to open doors for passengers' evacuation. And once it is open, the time delay of the operation is inevitable. 
So according to the officials, the thing is, 72 emergency cases on the Seoul Metro line since 2011 have been false, unfortunately triggered by passengers' pranks. I think a lot of people are going to be wondering right now, especially because of the uh, Seoul fare charge, these uh, horrific yeah. subway accidents, mm-hmm. these train accidents. Why would anybody Why? ever want to do this? I don't, I don't really understand how funny this uh, prank is. Where are the places that the pranks uh, take place most often? Well, especially Metro Line Number 2. I kind of understand because mm-hmm. it takes a twice of passengers than other lines. And another thing is it, it, it switches or installs one meter higher than usual. So definitely more frequent prank case has been detected according to the officials. Well, remember, the city won't just let you do this anymore mm. because if you operate the emergency switches in the running subway train without appropriate reasons, you would be sentenced up to two years and fined up to 20 million won under the country's Railroad Safety Act. Well, uh, probably something that a lot of people would agree with, uh, despite how high that fine is. Uh, really mm-hmm. no excuse for that. Time for uh, one more story here, Jessica. You're such a well-dressed, uh, fashionable lady. I, must, I imagine you uh, frequent a lot of these online uh, shopping sites to get great deals. But there's been concerns, right? A series of personal yes. information leaks uh, all over the country. Users are a bit insecure about this. Uh, you have uh, results of a new investigation that uh, say that there are some problems here with these shopping websites? Mm-hmm. According to the Seoul e-commerce center, 28% of the registered online shopping mall didn't acquire a security server. Well, let me brief about what this security server does. So this allows the personal data to be encrypted, to personal information to be encrypted and protect transfer data between your PC and the shopping website. Well, without its encryption process, your personal information is easily exposed by hackers while data is transmitting. And the leaked information will be everywhere on the Internet, which you never wish to happen. No, you do not. Uh, Is there a simple way we can do this? Can I, if I don't like this uh, website with their insecure or non-security servers, can I just take my name out, just withdraw, and I'll be safe? I wish I can, but all the shopping websites under investigation 17% of them has no way to deactivate your account, which means once you join them, the personal data will be kept in there. So the Seoul City will request those webs to install a security server and correct this issue by this September. So I think we have to just see what happened. Yeah, I remember that time when the credit card leaks occurred, and uh, it was uh, pretty much the case where one out of three credit card users were actually a victim of uh, this uh, data leak. Were you actually one of the victims when you checked? I was, I was. You were? Wow. And, I got uh, the email from them. I'm you did. sorry that your information has been leaked. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, uh, hopefully uh, you were uh, at least uh, compensated some way uh, in, in terms of that. And again, uh, uh, for someone who may be an avid shopper, <laughs> like yourself. <laughs> it is something that is uh, very important uh, indeed. Jessica, thank you very much. As always, we will see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Henry. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we will be uh, talking about the Seoul Ferry. Tomorrow marks the 100th day of this disaster. A lot of issues remain to discuss. Uh, we'll be joined by two great legal experts for that. Texas at pound 1013 on your mobile phone for 51. Stay tuned. You're listening to Primetime.